Howdy, Howdy ramblers. ramblers! And welcome to another Ramblin' Bears beer review on location once again. And uh, today we've got the Samuel Adams Griffin's Bow. And uh, this seems to be from some sort of special series they have going right now, along with a couple other beers we've seen reviewed. It's the uh, batch number one series, I guess. Um, I don't know what that means. Maybe it's the first time they've made it, or uh, maybe that's just clever uh, marketing. But it is an oak blonde barley wine ale, so I'm expecting something like a barley wine. Um, yeah, it looks like it says that the hops it uses are from New Zealand. On the lighter end of things. And uh, it is 11.5%, uh, so it should be interesting to see uh, how it fares. Mm -hmm. Pouring, we can see it's got a nice um, IPA-like color there, kind of a golden amber. Pretty good. Pretty good carbonation on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got it's got like a beige colored head. Obviously, I uh, can't see a whole lot else through there. No, but I know underneath that it, it's yellowish. Mm -hmm. Very hoppy. Very very hoppy. So I'm expecting uh, an American style barley wine, a little bit of vanilla and oak from the aging. Mm -hmm. You can smell that for sure. And I don't know if this is my glass, but I'm smelling a little cheese too. Do you smell that? Not funk. It's not quite funk. It's more of a like a fruity cheese. I'm definitely getting a bit of a floral sat slash citrus uh, hop character that's mixing for mm -hmm. uh, some interesting nose. And some pineapple, maybe grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for the taste. My hand still smells like, like sardines, <laughs> so should, this hand doesn't smell as bad. I'll, I'll use this one. Oh, okay. Wow, ooh, tastes like cheese. It is fruity. Smooth, it could go really well with cheese and crackers, like really well. Yeah, I mean, I, I wonder if by blonde they actually meant that they copied a few characteristics from like a Belgian blonde. It does have a mm -hmm. bit of that sort of astringency to it. I'm tasting blue cheese. It's interesting though. You could definitely taste the oak, you know, the, the oakiness of it too. Yeah, alcohol is not too present. Oakiness is there, hoppiness is there. Yeah, for someone that's not particularly 11. bitter at any one point. Mm -mm. A little sweetness. But not as sweet as I would mm -hmm. expect with uh, most barley wines. Right. But definitely really hoppy. So I'm going to give it a three and a half. Well, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> All right. Then we're on the same page with this one. It's not, I mean, it's, it's interesting. I don't know if I would, you know, it's not a session beer. <laughs> um, unique. It's a unique beer. Mm-hmm. Very unique. I Definitely worth a try. I don't not like it. I think I do like it, but I'm but I'm on the fence about it maybe a little bit just because I've been spoiled by so many amazing barley wines. So yeah, overall, it's an okay barley wine. We're going to go three and a half stars for this one. Yeah, three and a half stars worth a try. Griffin's Bow mm -hmm. from uh, uh, Sam, Sam Adams. Adams and part of their batch number one. Uh, experimenting collection so definitely an experiment that has some good parts and some not as good parts but yeah. leave a comment if you've tried this bar barley wine and you can follow us on twitter you can like us on facebook and we're also an untapped we're rambling bears on all of those and if you want to find out more about what we're doing out here in the woods or whatever check out our uh, main channel rambling bears mm -hmm. and until next time Ramble see you again Ramble, Ramble on. on. Cheers. Cheers.